Well, the owner of the South Minneapolis convenience store where police first made contact with George Floyd is speaking out. He says that officers were called because of a counterfeit $20 bill that Floyd used to buy a pack of cigarettes. Only on WCCO, uh, Mahmoud Abamayali says that he is with the community and wanting justice for the Floyd family. Here's Reg Chapman. For 31 years, Cup Foods has been a part of the South Minneapolis community. We don't just work in that community. That is our community. We know the community. It's a vibe that is unmatched to any other community. It's the best thing that's happened to our family. The family-owned business has come under fire after a phone call to police about the passing of a counterfeit $20 bill led to 46-year-old George Floyd begging a Minneapolis police officer for his life. I was, I was not there. You were not there. The staff that called the police followed protocol. When he identified the bill was fake, the patron was out of the establishment. When the police arrived, he was outside of the establishment, which normally never takes place. Why he was still there, we're not sure. Owner Micah Bumniali says what happened on the street outside his establishment should never have ended with a man dying. Most of the time when patrons give us a counterfeit bill, they don't even know it's fake. So when the police are called, there's no crime being committed. They just want to know where they got it from. And that's usually what takes place. This was a very circumstantial event that ended in a tragedy and unfortunately we're taking a lot of animosity for it. He understands people are upset but feels their anger should be used to get the arrest and conviction of those responsible for Floyd's death. For those who say if the police hadn't been called he wouldn't be alive. How does that staff member feel about that? That may be rightfully so. However, we cannot predict the future. If I was there, things would have been handled differently. This business owner says he is prepared to do what he can for the family. We want to offer first and foremost our deepest condolences, and we want to give any support if it's financially, socially, uh, spiritually, any type of support they need. Reg Chapman, WCCL 4 News. Cup food owners say that video from the store, which they've been asked not to release, shows that Floyd was not resisting officers. They have offered to pay for Floyd's funeral expenses.